Hey, welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a real estate get ready me for the day. I'm gonna show y'all skincare, body care, what I use in the shower, what I use out of the shower. I'll be doing my makeup, showing you guys my outfit. So this is like a, uh, but first, I'm gonna show y'all my bath products I'm going to be using today. Okay, let me show you how to use. I just got this too, my Olay Moisturize Deeply for visibly firmer skin. I use this. And then I use my Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. It is in the scent Coconut Lime. What I use to brush my teeth is this Colgate. Oh, for the rest of what I use for my body, because I did have stretch marks, as you guys didn't know when I did my video diaries, I did get online some lotion and body wash to help lighten my stretch marks, and it has helped a whole lot. But some of them are still there, so that's why I still use it. I'm probably gonna rip like one or two more times, and then I'll just be done with it. Yeah, then I use this Colgate. I ran out of mouthwash. These anti blemish pads by Noxzema. And then I wash my face with. That's before I wash my face. Then I use this. And this. This is foamy. This is not. So I use both of them. And then after I get done washing my face, I use my Pond's Fresh Skin Cream and Pond's Moisturizer. My shea butter, 100%. I get this from a dollar store, so. So yeah, my camera's upside down, so if I'm doing like weird stuff trying to show you, it's because my camera is upside down. I'm using my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for very dry to dry sensitive skin. And I did realize I have sensitive skin things when they dry, like around here. And the same with Naomi and my mama and my grandma, like we only get dry skin around here. It's so crazy how that's done, dry, 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 dry. Facial mist with hazel. Yes, I love this stuff. And to clean my piercing, I just use some Q-Tip ear care solution. I don't use this every day, which I know I need to. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Here, I'm gonna show y'all my body care. Obviously, I use the Suave deodorant. I don't use Dove anything anymore. You guys can see me good enough. I really love using this after I moisturize because it just makes my skin even super soft. So I use this Cocoa Palmer, Cocoa Butter Palmer's um, body oil. And this is what the code y'all was talking about. This is just the lotion form i use use this in soap form then i use the skin firming and toning for my belly use this for my body the illuminating body serum and every once in a while i will use this or i use my cocoa butter and i use my bio oil and my anti-friction stick that's all for everybody okay now i'm about to go lotion down put some clothes and i'll be back it's 104 now i don't know it's tough when i started but when I come back, I'm going to moisturize my hair, then I'm going to do like a little light makeup look. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm done getting dressed. I just literally just got on the top. Put it in my hair, and, but my hair has grown. Like, a little before two weeks, I seen this. While I was using these. No promotion, baby. This is the grease to it. It's on Amazon. I put it in one of my vlogs, so I just don't have to watch that vlog. If you want to know what vlog it is, it's my... It was my cousin and my friend graduating that vlog. I'm gonna be itching up something. That's why I really, really, really need to start taking care of my hair. Cause when I'm not sure my, my scalp will not, <coughs> my scalp will not itch at all. See you guys when I'm ready to do my makeup. So the Elf Halo Glow in the shade seven. Um, girl, what are you doing? You got to put on primer first. That smells so good. I love the way that in the Fenty primer smells. Y'all, this Patrick Tosto got me in the chocolate. The Charlotte Tilbury and the Hula Browns. So they got me in a chocolate. Yeah, see, they've been talking about cooking on a girl for the past, what, two days now? I'm really supposed to be losing weight, so I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know how to look, because I really don't, for one, I don't like burnt food. Never have, never will. The difference between it being cooked a little bit longer and it just being plain out burnt black. It just depends on how you cook, if it's good. So I don't know what's pretty. I don't know, but I'm trying to get videos out. I'm trying to, I'm gonna hold myself accountable and get four videos out this month. I already got three. Um, the tenth or the twelfth or even the thirteenth. Either one. It don't really matter. 
I just want to get like three videos out before 12 p.m. on the 13th. So I really think I can do that. I really, really do. So I think that'd be good. And then my fourth video, I don't know what that will be. Probably another like mom vlog or something. Because I really enjoy making those. Y'all really enjoy watching those. I really don't mind it, but you know, this is still my channel, so I just don't want to do just mom vlogs. If that was what I was solely doing and solely based off of, then I wouldn't mind, but it's not. So. I seen my liver and delivery vlog got 1k. I was like, thanks. Thank you for the subbies, too. I uh, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more into like, content. I mean, makeup videos, content. Like, I really love doing makeup. I got a bump. Oh my gosh. And my eyebrow, I hate when that happens. I love doing makeup content type videos. It's just, I really don't feel like people enjoy watching them, so that's why I added it to a vlog. I want to do, I want to do like an updated makeup routine, probably. Like, so, yeah. And then I my birthday coming up in September. I might do a birthday party. But for August, I don't know what I got to be for August. Maybe like three or four, maybe like three or four or five videos. Just not a whole lot. I'm still, I, I touched on this topic last video, which was yesterday. But I'm trying to do more moving out series. But I don't know y'all, like, what else do y'all really want to see? What is it to do, honestly? I don't really know. So we just have to cross the bridge when it gets there. I'm not really worried about that just right now. I do want to move again. Because where I live is not it. Like the people, the community. It ain't tremendous to the point where I feel like my life is in safety, but I do feel a bit nervous. She never had a fear for my safety while I've been living over here, but after after a little incident happened, she now fears for my safety and I feel fear for my safety but I just do be cautious and on the lookout. And that's, I'm just letting everything play out. Like, I'm living in one of my blessings. I am. I am very grateful and thankful. But to live somewhere where you have to, where you have to be cautious all the time, you obviously be cautious anywhere where you live. Anybody. Not just a female, not just a black female, but anywhere you live. But I'm saying is, any any time a mother feels unsettling for her child, that is not a great thing. Not in the simple fact for like every day I'm calling her and like, mommy, this happened, this happened, this happened. But just for the simple fact, like when stuff is going on, me and my mom are like this. She's like my best friend. Obviously, I know that's my mother. I treat her as a mother. Sometimes I do it to like a oh, horrible, but that's besides the point. I know that's my mama at the end of the day. But me and her are like this. A little nervous. For my safety? It's not good. The fact that remains the same is these people over here are not going to go up. I wish, like, when I moved over here, it was so quiet. It's, I just didn't know. That's not my fault. I'm not blaming God. I'm not blaming myself. It's just you live and you learn as you grow up. That's really what it is. So, I learned my lesson. Um, would I recommend anybody live over here? Yes and no, because it's not always going to be bad like this. But no on the simple fact that the people that's over here now. Yes on the simple fact that I need to move. <laughs> and when I first moved over here, because again, it's not bad, but it's not the best. The best either. And This is a makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.
I'm gonna get my setting spray that's like matte. But I'm gonna do that later. And put on my lip gloss up later. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe to the notifications. And bye. See you next video.